Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create some skateboard deck graphics. So I am going to create a new document. And in general, uh, most skateboards are kind of the rough size of 10 inches by 30 inches. So we're going to create a document that's 10 by 30 and hit create. Give it a minute. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate some of these artboards. And the way I do that is by clicking on an artboard and hitting option on my keyboard and dragging it a couple times. Stick it over here. So now we have this duplicated a couple of times. And I'm going to create my shape of the skateboard here. The way I'm going to do that is to go to my shape tool on the left and hit rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle just over here. I'm going to get give the stroke, which is the outline down here, a line color here. And I'm going to make it about two inches so it's nice and thick. Um, and I'm going to select that. And do you see these little round areas in between here, the little tiny areas here in the corner? I'm going to click and drag those in a bit. And that gives me a nice, kind of the rough, the rough shape of a skateboard, which is just what I want to start to delineate this shape here. Uh, so we can do that. We can duplicate it and bring it over here and click on option and drag it over here to duplicate it. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to my artboard tool and make a little bit of a shape here so I can play around. So I've decided that with this skateboard, what I want to do is I want to have some um, just kind of random colorful shapes here that are going to just create kind of like a fun um, abstract uh, scenario. So I'm going to start with some um, polygon tools. Click and drag. Let's make it a bunch of different colors. Make it kind of like yellow and get rid of the stroke there. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, get rid of that. Let's duplicate this, bring it down here, bring one up here. What about if we select this one and make it orange? Oh, we don't want to do that. Make this orange. Maybe a nice light orange here. Then what about if we kind of duplicated this and made them smaller? Stuck them back here. And what about if we made them all kind of like, like a green or blue? Let's bring them down behind. Bring that down here. Click and drag. Bring that down here. Bring that down here. Maybe make that like red. What about if we did this? Clicked and dragged it over here. Made that kind of a purple. Mm, we could bring these, duplicate them. I'm just trying to do kind of like a really simple, pretty bright, kind of a cool thing that I'm going to do for my skateboard. Then maybe we could put some line elements by clicking and dragging some lines here. Let's make the stroke a color. How about black? And how about let's make our stroke eight point. And we're gonna bring it there and put it behind. I'm gonna drag this here, drag that there. Just kind of playing around here. I'm not making anything that's kind of amazing, but I am just kind of having some fun with some patterns. And some of these we can make bigger. Let's make it 50. This one, maybe 55. Okay, so now we have kind of like a whole bunch of different shapes, right? So how do we get it so that we can see what these shapes look like within the actual um, skateboard shape? Well, let's find our skateboard shape, which is more than likely under there, but it's not. We're going to take a skateboard shape from over here, and we're going to just drag it, and we're going to bring it to the top. Okay, so we're going to go to Object, Arrange, Bring to the Front. Now we have our beautiful skateboard. However, it is white, so we can't see what's going on. 
But when I bring it to the front here, you can see a nice like outline on my skateboard. So if I want to click and drag the skateboard, I can click on the edge of it and kind of think how it's going to look with my design. So I kind of like it right in the center there. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll put like another color behind this by just going to the rectangle and making it like, what about if I just made it like a big old weird, crazy pink color and then sent it down to the back. So here's where the magic is going to happen. You can see it just sort of looks like a big creative mess here. I've made a pattern. I've put it behind it. But what I really want to do is see how it's going to look on the beautiful shape of the skateboard. So here's how we do that. We make sure our skateboard is in the front, the shape, by going to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. Okay. And then we select everything by clicking and dragging over all of it. And then I go to Object, Clipping Mask, and I go to Make. So now when I go to my clipping mask, look at how cool that looks. It's like a really awesome little um, graphic that's popping right inside of a skateboard. So that's pretty much how you start to make your skateboard graphics and see how it's going to be uh, fitting within the skateboard. Okay. I hope that helps.